Monetary Policy. This is the third in a three-part series on the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve System attempts to influence total spending in the economy to raise or lower the GDP. The Fed attempts to create steady economic growth with low inflation and low employment. It does this using monetary policy. When spending is high, causing inflation, the Feds will want to reduce the money supply. A decline in the money supply would make credit more difficult to obtain and it would cause a rise in interest rates. This would reduce investment spending by companies and it would reduce purchasing by customers. A reduction in the level of spending would lower the GDP and lower inflation. When the Feds cause a reduction in the level of spending, it is known as a tight money policy. When spending is low, causing unemployment, the Feds will want to raise the money supply. An increase in the money supply would free up credit, making loans easier to obtain, and it would cause interest rates to fall. This would increase investment spending by companies and would increase purchasing by consumers. An increase in the level of spending would raise GDP and lower unemployment. When the Feds cause an increase in the level of spending, it is known as an easy money policy. The Feds have three main tools they use to control the level of spending in the economy. The first is changing the reserve requirements for banks. The second is changing the discount rate, and the third is open market operations. Let's look at all three. In my last video, I showed how changing the reserve requirements raises or lowers the money supply. If the Fed raises reserve levels, it leaves less money over for the banks to loan out. Since banks have less money to loan out, it reduces the amount of currency in circulation. If the Fed lowers reserve rates, it leaves more money left over for banks to loan out. This increases the amount of currency in circulation. If the country was in a recession, the Feds may want to lower reserves, which will increase the money supply to try to increase spending and reduce unemployment. If the economy was booming and inflation was a concern, the Feds may want to increase reserves, which will lower the money supply to try to reduce spending. The next tool the Fed has for controlling spending in the economy is changing the discount rate. The discount rate is the interest rate that banks pay to borrow funds directly from their Federal Reserve Bank. You may remember from my last video that banks are only required to hold on to a certain percentage of their customers' deposits, which is known as the reserve requirement. If a large withdrawal is made, to keep from falling below the reserve requirement, banks may need to borrow money from the Reserve Bank. The interest rate they pay on this loan is called the discount rate. If the Fed lowers the discount rate, it sends a message to banks that they are pursuing an easy money policy. They are basically telling banks, go ahead, loan out as much as you can all the way up to your limit. If someone withdraws too much, we'll loan you the rest cheap so you can make your reserve requirement. This makes cash more available to borrow and frees up credit. If the Fed raises the discount rate, it sends a message to banks that they are pursuing a tight money policy. They are basically telling banks, be careful how much you loan out, because if you, fail, if you fall below your reserve requirements, it's going to cost you more. This makes cash more difficult to borrow and tightens up credit. Changing the discount rate tends to affect all interest rates. For instance, the prime rate, which is the rate that banks charge the very best business customers, runs approximately three percentage of points above the discount rate. The third and most commonly used tool the Fed has to affect spending in the economy is open market operations, which is directed by the Federal Open Market Committee, or FOMC. Open market operations involve buying and selling government securities, bills, bonds, notes, to change the federal fund's target rate. When the news media speaks of interest rates being changed by the Fed, they are referring to the Fed fund's target rate. The Fed Fund's target rate is the rate that banks charge other banks to borrow money, usually just for overnight, so they can meet reserve requirements. So when banks loan out all of their excess money, and one of the bank's depositors wants to make a large withdrawal, the banks must borrow money to meet the reserve requirement. They can borrow it from other banks and pay the Fed Fund's rate, or they could borrow it from their Federal Reserve Bank directly and pay the discount rate. Since these loans are for such a short period of time, the Fed Funds Rate is also called the Overnight Rate. 
When the Fed raises or lowers the Fed Fund's target rate, it does not actually physically change the rate. Rather, it changes the rate by increasing or decreasing bank reserves by buying or selling government securities, bills, bonds, notes. If the Fed wants to lower interest rates, it buys government securities from the open market. When the government pays for the securities, it increases bank reserves. This gives the banks more money to lend out, which frees up credit. Because there is now more money to lend out, banks must lower their lending rates to attract more borrowers. If the Fed wants to raise interest rates, it sells government securities to the open market. When the Fed collects the money for these securities, it decreases bank reserves. This leaves the banks less money to lend out, which tightens up credit. Because there is now less money to lend out, banks will raise their lending rates to lower demand. If the country was in a recession, the feds may want to buy securities, which will increase the money supply, which will cause interest rates to drop, to try and increase spending and to lower unemployment. If the economy was booming and inflation was a concern, the feds may want to sell securities, which will lower the money supply, raise interest rates, so they can try to reduce spending. There you have it. The Fed tries to maintain steady growth with low inflation and low unemployment. If spending gets too high or too low, the Fed tries to increase or decrease spending by changing the percentage of the customer's money banks must hold on to, by changing the interest rate it charges banks for loans, or by changing the interest rate banks charge each other for loans. And that concludes my eight-part series of basic economics. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a lot from it. Thanks for watching.